Hello and welcome back to Palingray, uh, Palingray for, uh, Estates. Uh, I'm Eddie and this is my vlog. Today is the 12th of May and we're going to do our first cut of the grass. So I'm in the TW5 here uh, and uh, I'm going to unfold our class uh, mower and we're going to go around the field. So the plan with, for this field is we're going to do hay in here. Uh, and then the other field that we have to uh, to do, we're going to be doing uh, grass and silage from. We need to do, uh, we do have lots of silage bales, uh, but we make a lot of money on the farm from selling silage bales as well. So those are the ones that we kept from last season. Uh, seeing as we have plenty of those to go through, we are going to do our first cut and we're going to go and get some more silage bales and sell those off uh, so those would be good it's always fun doing bales on this farm simply because the uh, the hills <laughs> cause us quite a few problems with uh, with rolling bales so we try and we try and make sure that all our fields don't end up down the end of the field uh, on this field it's not too bad because we we tend to bale it in this direction but the other field we're going to be doing today, we're, we're going to have issues with, I think, as far as it comes when we come to do the baling of that. We won't be baling today, we're just cutting today. And we might, if we have time, get some... Uh, well, we need to leave it to dry for a few days. And we're going to leave it a couple of days to, to dry a little bit, and then we're going to tend it and get it to dry some more. Let's go do outside bit and then we're going to go around the other way so that we get all the grass now I'm cutting the grass a little bit early but that is to um, a little bit before it's at full whack but that is basically to get it to to encourage it to grow more as the sun starts to shine more and it's actually going to rain later today so uh, we've got got some showers coming in so I want to get this cut fairly quickly I don't want to be cutting in the rain right, I want to go around the field the other way so that we get right up to the hedge there we go there we are a nice wide cut on this class it works well as a mower and it's good for the size of farm we have I wouldn't I wouldn't want a big butterfly or anything like that on here it's uh, that would be too much we don't have a tractor actually that would be able to do it we don't have anything powerful enough uh, the t-dub can handle most things that we throw at it on here hence the reason why we got it it's sort of our general use tractor it's a good old workhorse we actually bought it with not too many hours on the clock which was great you know it hadn't been used to its full potential and uh, and as a result it's uh, it's done us well and it continues to do as well this out of the hedge. I tried to leave myself a cut width around the edge of the field doing that first cut. So we only have uh, yeah we are we are low on hay bales so hay bales is something that we need to be working on. But at this time of year we can start to feed the sheep and the cows grass as well. So we're gonna create we are gonna create a couple of grass bales. We won't uh, on the other field, we're not going to wrap all the bales. We're going to keep a couple of them back for grass. Let's not knock our sand bales over. There we go. Right, so I'll turn back around. And keep going around the field. will uh, yeah 
get this tethered and rode up. We might tether and row up this field actually. Today. We have a, a fantastic little uh, sip. Tether and rower. I mean it does does both jobs at the same time, which saves us a huge amount of time. Uh, fortunately it can also the, the tedding function on it can also be disabled, so we can just use it as a normal wind rower as well. But as, uh, as, as to do the, both things at once, it's fantastic. So we do tend to use that. And it, uh, and it does the job fam uh, famously. Famously? Is that the right term for that? I have no idea. I kind of I kind of find myself rambling in these vlogs sometimes. So I hope you guys don't mind that. It's just sort of the random thoughts that go through my head as I'm as I'm going up and down the field. It's one of those things I find quite peaceful, especially uh, doing this kind of job. So I'm I'm liable to ramble from time to time. There we go. But this uh, this mer will make short work in this field. This tractor just handles it well. More than enough truck power in this tractor to do this. Don't want to go too fast though. Otherwise, we won't get a good cut. We won't give the blades enough time to work over the grass. There we go. I'll keep going round because obviously the the mower is to one side, so otherwise I'll be driving over the grass. And other than doing that around the edge, I don't really want to do that anywhere else. But it does mean that we have to go around the field. We'll get to a certain point, and what I'll do is I'll lift the mower and then just start going up and down. Makes it easier for the uh, wind rower or a rower to, uh, to handle it. There we go. And up the hill again. I like to try and get nice square corners. Rather stuffy in this cab. I'm going to open a couple of windows. There we go, I've opened up the windows. And that's that make it a bit cooler in here. That's nice. That's much better. Much, much nicer. That's it. Let's 
Don't I care again that? Tractor was pulling a little bit to the left there. I'm not sure. Whoa. I think we'd be grounding out. We're grounding out with the mirror a little bit, which is a bit weird. Yeah. It's pulling me to the left. Let's struggle up this hill a little bit. And it is eating up the field at the moment. This field is not overly. Yeah. Let's slow down a little bit. It's. Uh, Going a bit fast, I think, and I think it's having issues as a result. It's digging into the ground a little bit. I think we might need to go and add a little bit more weight to the front of the tractor. Let's go and look how much we've got. Decent amount of weight on the front of the tractor, so it shouldn't be causing us issues. I don't know what that is. There's something. Oh, I'm going to have to take the tractor into the yard, I think. It is having. a lot of fun. set the tractor back to the yard in a minute and have a look at this, I think. Oh. It's definitely having issues with the steering. itself at the moment, but wow, yeah. I'm gonna have to go and check out this uh, what's happening to the steering on the tractor because it's not as responsive as it normally is. And that is gonna it's going to be an issue if uh, we're doing a lot of work with it. And we still have a lot of field to mow. Annoying me. Yeah, it's suddenly got a. Uh, the power steering is malfunctioning. It's got a huge dead zone in the middle. at the moment we can keep straight and we can turn but it's uh, yeah wow that's odd there we go 
go. Keep nice and straight. You can see I'm having trouble uh, holding the steering wheel tight. Keeps twitching. Oh man, I hope this isn't a big problem with this tractor. I can't afford I can't afford this tractor to go out of all of our tractors. That would be an issue. fighting it. Oh, never mind. Right, so we are doing well on this. I don't think we're going to be able to TED this today, though. I think we're going to, uh, I think we're basically just going to get it cut. And I might try and get, I'll probably get the other field cut before I see you guys again. A couple of days of cutting and then, uh, yeah, and then we get TEDing. And we're and rowing. Whoa! That just the whole thing just lurched. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this fixed, and then we're gonna go and look at the going to have a look at the tractor in the workshop. I think. We'll take it back to the workshop and see if we can do some repairs to it before I get it out and uh, and go and do some more mowing later today. I think I want to get this grass cut. The sooner we get it cut, the sooner I can get it growing again. And I'll probably try and uh, spread some fertilizer. Some uh, and I like to try and spread slurry over the grass. Uh, it seems to do well from it, so uh, yeah, that's what we'll do once we've uh, once we've cut and rowed and baled. Uh, we'll spread slurry over it as well, and that should then give us a really good base for our big cut. So our big cut is in the summer. Uh, oh wow, the tractor is really fighting me now. Wow. Okay, I think we need to go back to the barn. And I'm going to have to try and work out what's wrong with this tractor. Because it's breaking down as I drive it. Okay. Alright, I turn the mower off. We're going to head back to the barn. going to hit my back window. Ooh, close, but thankfully we've got that bit that, that folds up. It's alright. Yeah, I need to get this back to the workshop and have a look. And then hopefully we'll get back out there and, uh, and finish that field. go fully in. Right. Uh, I'm going to check out what's wrong with my tractor and I will be back shortly. Okay, I think I fixed it. Um, yeah, that was really weird. It's, uh, we, we had, I don't know quite what happened. I've had a, I've had a good look around the system and, and tightened a few bits and pieces. But it's, uh, yeah, it really was not behaving itself. But it seems to be all right now. So we'll go finish off the grass. It's a pity. It's, it's good to be able to fix things like that on the farm. 
but it's uh, yeah, it's annoying when it happens. And one thing I am happy about is the wheat is growing nicely. That is, uh, you can see that there. That is already coming up, and uh, and yeah, that's going to be a nice wheat crop. It's looking very healthy. We're going to have to spray it soon. Uh, one thing we don't have is any care wheels. So we are going to lose a little bit of the crop to that. But we will yield far more than we lose. So that's all good. So let's put that down. Turn it on. Down we go. Yeah, that's much better. The steering wheel, the steering is now back to full functionality. I think a rod had come loose or something. It's, it's just... Yeah. I basically went through, tightened up the whole system, and, uh, and, and it worked fine. It's working fine now. So that's good news. On, on farm repairs, live on the blog, well, not the actual repairs themselves, but uh, certainly seeing that there we go Lift that up uh, seeing that we can fix it on site is good to be honest on a farm like this you need to be able to do that if you don't know your way around your tractor then you're uh, then you're in trouble Oh, whatever it is, it's still happening. Oh, I haven't fixed it. Never mind. Oh, I'm going to have to get this field fixed and then go and uh, try and get the tractor into a repair shop. Then, if it's not something I can fix on the farm. better it was behaving itself it's a bit weird sometimes these strange things happens with happen with these old attractors though I think I can probably wrestle it enough to get the, uh, the field cut. But yeah, using the broken tractor is not wise. Whoa! Don't need the T-dub to be out while we're trying to do this work. Oh dear. We're not far from the end now though, so that's good. It turns full lock fine. It's just when trying to make small adjustments. So it decides it wants to go to the left. We are getting smaller and smaller on our patch of grass now, though.
interesting. It only calls massively to the left when we come to the end of the road. End of the road. Alright. Whoa. Could be the steering on this field. Probably gonna cover it. It's probably gonna get us done. Right, let's see. You see now the ste now the steering's back to normal. That's weird. Maybe, maybe the cutter is, uh, that's, that's odd. Maybe the cutter is pulling power uh, from the tractor to the point where it can't, uh, where it's affecting the power steering. Because that is weird. Either way, I think we're going to take the tractor into the shop. We're going to, we're going to end here and I'm going to, I'm going to have to go and get the tractor looked at by a, an agricultural engineer because that shouldn't be happening. Uh, we shouldn't be having that problem. Uh, for now, though, uh, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.